Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be sublimating on a puzzle, so if you'd like to see how, keep watching. Alright guys, so we are going to be sublimating on this 8.5 by 11 puzzle. I got this from 143 Vinyl. I believe they're $2.99 on their website. I will have a link below where to get these puzzles at. And this is actually my first time doing a puzzle myself. So we're going to be doing it together. So I'll show you what these puzzles look like. They have a nice gloss finish to them. And like I said, this one is an 8.5 by 11. So we are going to, I'm going to show you first how I got this ready and printed out. I went ahead and printed out a picture. I'm going to be doing um, two for um, both of my daughters. So we actually just got pictures done. So I'm going to do this photo here and this photo right here. And I went on a website, there's probably a lot of different places that you can do this on, but I wanted to round the edges because on this puzzle, edges are rounded, but it really didn't match up with the way that it rounded on the website. So maybe moving forward, I'll look into a better way of getting it to match up exactly with this puzzle, but it doesn't really matter. My girls are going to love it no matter what. So I'm going to switch my screen here over to my computer and show you. I'm going to move it over here to my computer. So here's the photo that I'm going to be using and I am using a Mac so it might be a little bit different on a different computer. So I'm going to go over to adjust size and all I did was open this photo from my downloads and proportionately this was kind of the size that it was able to do so um, 7.35 by 11 like I said the puzzle is eight and a half by 11 so we have that scaled and then all I did was come over here file print and I have another bit video on setting up your printer and settings and everything so for today's video I am using my ST4000 this only prints up to I believe an eight and a half by 14 we have eight and a half by 11 paper in there and I have my Epson drivers um, loaded because I know sometimes if you don't have those already downloaded, it will not give you all of the settings. So we're going to change this to premium presentation pa paper matte. I always use this when I'm doing sublimation just because the paper is a little bit thicker. And then I'm going to change this to best quality. And I will show you here in a second. I accidentally printed one and I forgot to change the settings and you can tell a big difference. So make sure that you are hitting best quality. Let's go back over here. Okay, I'll show you this image without hitting best quality. I know a lot of people, so I do run a sublimation course group, and a lot of people have issues with um, getting really good quality images. And sometimes it's just as simple as a couple little settings on your printer, on your computer, so this was one that I did and I forgot to hit um, best quality. And then here is the best quality. So that is a pretty big difference. So like I said, just make sure you do those couple little settings that I just showed you right there. And then, um, like I said, I have other videos if you need help on your printer settings or if you need more help just comment below and I can help you out but I also run the course group like I said it's maketeasewithb.com if you're interested in um, signing up for that so okay let's go ahead and get this set up here um, this paper is um, the a sub paper 125 I always use that I have tried the 120. It's okay, but I just really feel like the 125 does the absolute best in any brand that you're going to be using. So um, just try to find that if you can. There isn't a super huge difference, but I just like to stick with that. Okay. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to switch the screen so you guys can see me above. 
So we have our puzzle. I'm just going to push down and make sure all the pieces are flat. And we're going to lay our picture down. I'm not going to trim it or anything because I am going to tape. And I want to make sure that I have this space like on the edges to tape the puzzle down to it. Okay. So it's not the perfect size for this picture, but it'll do. Let me make sure. Okay. So I'm just going to line it up the best that I can, just kind of where I want it. And then we are going to be using our heat tape. I do have an Amazon store and I do have a link for that and um, it'll show you exactly what type of tape this is. This dispenser, I believe I got this, um, oh gosh, I feel like it was The Laughing Professor. That might have been the company that I got it from, but I've seen these dispensers kind of all over the place, but it's a lot easier than pulling apart this tape every time and cutting it. So I highly recommend getting a tape dispenser just to make it easier when removing the tape. So I'm just going to tape the sides of this down just so that it doesn't shift when I go to put it under the heat press. I do currently have my heat press heating up at the moment. Um, typically I do sublimation at 400 degrees for 60 seconds. My heat press does get really hot and this is my first time ever doing a puzzle like this. So I went ahead and set it to 360. And I've seen a few different people recommend either um, 45 seconds or 60 seconds. So we'll see. I might even just do it in the middle and do like 50, 55 seconds. I don't want to burn it or anything. I have the um, Stahl's Hotronics 16 by 20 clamshell auto open heat press. And let me tell you, that thing gets so hot. It's such a good heat press, um, but it does get very, very hot. So when we put this under the heat press, we are actually going to be flipping it over like this with the image on the top and the puzzle on the bottom. But I'm going to be putting a piece of butcher paper on the top and the bottom of this as well. Okay, I'm going to put this last piece of tape on and then we're just going to wait for the heat press to heat up. It's going to take a little bit longer. And then as soon as that's ready, I will be back with you guys on how to put the butcher paper on here. All right, so while this is heating up, I will tell you a little bit about my heat press because I do get a lot of questions about it. So this is the 16 by 20 Hotronics auto open. So the reason that I bought this heat press was one because it has it has the auto open option which is really nice because it makes it really easy if you know you're working on something else and you can't run over to the heat press in time it just pops open on its own. Um, another reason that I really like it is because it is a 16 by 20 so it is a big heat press. I've always only had the 15 by 15 so now I can do bigger projects. I do a lot of my shirts on 11 by 17 paper, so that's perfect for that heat press. Um, it's also a very heavy duty, good quality heat press. I've had other heat presses where they literally are just falling apart on me with all the pressing that I do. So it is a super great heat press. I definitely recommend Hotronics for your heat presses. The only downfall to that one is it doesn't have the Pull out bottom. I know that the one up from that one is an auto open. It's a 16 by 20 and it has the pull out bottom, which is great. So you're not burning yourself on the, um, you know, the heat, what is it, on the plates or whatever. So um, that will definitely be my next upgrade for a heat press. Um, but right now, that's the one that I'm using. All right, so we are ready to press now. So I'm going to put this piece of paper, this butcher paper right here, and then I'm going to put this right here like this. Remember, puzzle facing up. And then we're gonna take this other piece of butcher paper and lay it over top. This is important just so you're not getting ink onto your heat press. 
and it just um, that could ruin shirts other projects you're doing so just make sure that you're always putting a piece of butcher paper here and make sure that you're always using a new sheet on whatever you're doing all right so we're going to move over to the heat press and i decided i'm going to press it for 45 seconds and i have it set at 385. So the pressure might be set a little too much. Um, you wanna have medium pressure when you're doing sublimation products. This one, um, the pressure was a little bit harder because the puzzle's a little bit thick. So I'm a little concerned how it's going to turn out because it does say that the pressure is set at an eight. So we will see how it turns out. If it is too much pressure, we will change the pressure on this other one that I'm doing and see if it comes out better. And this will also show you the auto open feature here in a second when it pops open. Alrighty, let's see how this turned out. Oh my gosh, guys, it turned out really good. So maybe the pressure wasn't too hard. It's always so hard to tell. That's why I always tell people everything is seriously trial and error. Everybody has a different computer, a different press different ink, different paper, and really you just have to try things out for yourself and see what's going to turn out the best. So now I'm not like thrilled with the shape of how the picture kind of was on here. Like I definitely could do better with that. But let me flip over to this better camera and show you focus look how cute turned out so good my daughters are going to love these I will um, press the other one really quick and I'll be right back with you guys all right guys so I pressed the other one I did adjust my pressure setting so just pushing it down closed it was set at like a one and then with the puzzle under it it went to about a four but putting the puzzles right next to each other they literally look identical so the pressure really didn't matter too much for me personally I'm not saying that pressure is not going to make a difference but here's the other one that I did and then I'll flip the camera down so you can see both of them side by side so yeah overall these came out great i'm super excited about them um, i'll have a link down below if you want to buy these puzzles yourself because they would be super great gifts i know my kids are going to love playing with them um so anyways if you liked this video make sure you subscribe and if you want to be a part of my course group check out maketeasewithb.com thanks for watching